All right, guys, so here we have it. This is part three of the pineapple wine. Uh, as you can see, nothing has changed. It's where we left it. We uh, got it out the out the um, first damage on. And we put it in here, and that is when I had the problems with the computer. So it's just been sat in there with the airlock on. So what I'm going to do is sanitize the set, the uh, third damage on that's going in. So for those of you that are uh, worried about doing secondary on your beer. Uh, this wine will have been in three demijohns and then fourth time moved into the bottle. Uh, but as long as you sanitise everything really well and don't skimp on it, and when you're siphoning the wine into the other demijohn, you let it, you let your siphon tube link round the bottom so it's not running in and dragging air into it. You'll be fine. Um, so that's sanitised, I'm going to empty it out now and then we're going to add the potassium sorbate and the cabinet tablet. Now the cabinet tablet is for clearing and the potassium sorbate is a stabiliser, it's actually E202. Uh, and what this does is it prevents any wild yeast from growing in the wine. Some people use uh, um, metabisulfate to kill the yeast which is in your wine already and then add this I've never done that and I've never had a problem with it I just add the potassium sorbate and to hell with it and uh, I've never had a bad batch of wine so let's crack on with it right so when we did the banana wine and we added the potassium sorbate in the cabden tablet you'll notice that I crushed the cabden tablet up and added it to the um, wine that was already transferred into the demijohn. Um, this meant I had to swill it round to get it mixed in. And I'm going to show you another way in which you can do it, which, I, which is the way I do it now. And that is, I take a, t a cabden tablet, just one, and I just drop it straight in. I do the same with the potassium sorbate. This potassium sorbate is to, uh, one gram for every five liters, so and it works out to about half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. So that's in now. Now we're going to rack the pineapple wine into this, put an airlock on it, and leave it to clear. Right. So we've readjusted. Apologies for the mess, uh, but this new computer build has had this room sort of upside down with bits of cardboard and whatnot. All I'm doing now is you can't see it, but I'm taking out the airlock to the pineapple wine. Um, and that smells gorgeous. So. <laughs> Leaving it in the demijohn sealed has not hindered it in any way because everything's been sealed up so there's no harm that can come to it. Siphon hose goes in, tube goes all the way down and loop it round the bottom and that way as it comes out the tube it will just run on the bottom of the demijohn and it won't slosh any air into it few pumps on this uh, siphon hose and away it goes. Now if you're using star sand for the first time don't worry about the bubbles that are left in it. Uh, I know when I first started I was um, but some people believe that uh, it does aid the yeast if you're doing beer. Um, I don't know but I know it's in the in the foam that's left it's safe because when you dilute it again with your wine or your beer the pH level drops so so don't worry about that it's 
just going to angle this now just to get the last bits out so that's it guys that is stage three of the pineapple wine i'm sorry it took so long uh to get to you but obviously i've had problems with me uh, computer and whatnot sort the air out air lock out in a minute um so yeah we've added a gram of potassium sorbate one cabinet tablet now we just leave it to clear so part four will be the bottling in about a fortnight's time or however long it takes to clear shouldn't be too long though right guys thanks for watching stay safe keep on brewing and uh and that's it